you guys, a lot of you guys informed when we were tr busy trying to get organized and quite honestly didn't do a good job communicating with you folks. Now we're, we're back up. We've got something here that can, is uh, more reliable or is reliable and you can rely on the things that are on that uh, inky web. Uh, camps with standing reservations, I think we kind of touched on that. If you're up and running, then I think you can, you know, let your people know. If you start getting calls about, do I need to cancel, whatever you can tell them, no. Now, until the lake is open, you know, you may have some issues with that. You might want to be up front with them. And if, the, you know, if you've got people coming in Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday, before we open the lake back up, you might want to let them know that before they get up here. Because I... I'm afraid they would be very upset at that point. Uh, do any crews need a place to stay? I think, Tony, I don't think we do. I think we're in good shape on that, aren't we? All of our uh, crews that have come in um, have been taken care of at this point. And finally, how long will the power outages last? Is there anybody here from the electric companies? <laughs> nope. <laughs> uh, Again, uh, I don't know. I have read, I have read some things that are very um, disturbing about how long it may take to reestablish the power back into the uh, the south side of the lake over here. But I, I don't know how accurate that is, and I just, I, folks, I don't know. Yes, Kevin. And they have the engineers out, and their goal is to have all the electricity on by Memorial Day weekend. And that's all of Sportsman's World. And they've had to hire and bring in other co-op crews, and their main comment is, you have the hardest work, a rock in all our area. <laughs> uh, but that is their goal. They're systematically working on the areas that, that need the, the most work. But their goal is to have all the juice back on all over the lake by Memorial Weekend. Hopefully even sooner. Okay. Final words. If you see smoke, call 911. Don't, uh, don't, don't be afraid to call. That's what we're here for. We're here to respond. We're here to take care of the instances. We need to, uh, we need to be sure that we get, you know, our these our local guys back out to doing the job they were supposed to do. Uh, uh, Sheriff Mercer, this one is for you. It says, who do we need to, to get approval from to bring in generators for a business after the Southwest opens up? Uh, in Bluff Creek Marina, question. Like I said, we're going to try to get the plan to where you can reopen those areas, hopefully by midweek, depending on what's going on with the fires. At that point in time, we would request that you contact United Co-op and, and let them know that you're operating a generator that's somewhat connected to their system when they start trying to reconnect everything. Please make sure you do that. And we don't care as long, but what you need to remember this. Most generators, or all that I know, are gasoline powered, and gasoline powered generators can generate sparks. So you need to be very aware of where you're operating the generator with relationship to these fuels that are so tender. Uh, did that answer your question? Okay. Uh, Tony, do we have a percent containment that we're wanting to publish at this time? Oh, cool. Okay, 50% containment, folks. That's a, that's a phenomenal achievement. Uh, the question here is the building ranch to 101. Lots of fuel. How big a problem? It's a huge problem. Now, as you heard Stephen say earlier, we're building about something over 300 miles of fire line around this thing. We've got a lot of it done, but we're how far? How many more miles do we have yet to go, Steve? We're about halfway there. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, that would be about right, wouldn't it? 150 is about. <laughs> Even though I did go to school at Grayford, I still, you know, I can divide that by two. Um, you're, you're exact, and that it is a huge problem, folks. And, uh, but again, we're, these guys are diligently working on this. We had uh, a couple of guys from Enbridge come in and start working with our dozer crews. 
to ensure that we're not hitting a gas line and causing another problem. Uh, so that's you know a big plus in our area. I think these guys will be able to work a lot faster. We've, and I don't know if this affects any of you guys or not, but we've asked the, the dozer operators, if you go through a gate, please close it. If you break a fence or you tear a fence down, either put it back temporarily and let us know where it is so the owner can go back and fix it. Either that or try to go to a gate and get through rather than tearing a fence down. Uh, is boating and lake evacuation optional? I think it's already been displayed. We've done that. We did it over in Hog Bend. We did it over in Possum uh, Hollow. We had people that were evacuated by boat there. Okay. Have I, have we... In emergencies, yes, the boat lake is closed to emergencies only or the, uh, the uh, law enforcement people. If there's an emergency, you need to evacuate by boat, by all means do that. Now don't be out there water skiing from one side to the other, okay? Okay, now, you know, I, I hope that we have given you guys something to, to think about. The things that you've heard here tonight are the facts of what's going on right now. The local departments have done an absolutely fantastic job. The entire state of Texas has done a fantastic job responding to our emergency here. We've had guys from Midland bring water to our strong operation. The Metroplex is absolutely wonderful in bringing in supplies and things that our firefighters need to keep themselves hydrated, to keep themselves as healthy as they possibly can. We owe a great big thanks to the entire state of Texas. It's sad that it takes an event like this to bring the goodness out in people, but I assure you it is, it is happening. If any of you are happen to be by Mineral Wells, go by the old David supermarket and take a look at our distribution center we have set up there. It is, you know, it's, it's as full now as it was when David's was operational. So it's just a tribute to the people of the state of Texas and these communities around here. Okay, anybody else, any other questions, comments?